sheet number update. So I select this, <clears throat> it pulls up my little sheets and we see the original sheet and we see the new sheet. And I can just simply select on it and say B1, it updates. Now I'm gonna go through and just do them all, B2, B3, this one should be B4, and then B3. And we say okay, and you'll see down here that my sheet number changed. And if I scroll down, you'll see we've got all of our sheets. If I go in here and this sheet accidentally gets deleted or on purpose, however the case may be, we'll see that we've got B1, B2, B4. <clears throat> and as I mentioned, we do have the ability inside here, sheet renumbers, to fit the gap. And basically what you do is you have to tell it where the gap is. So I select B2, hold down control to do multiple select like everything inside of Revit, hit B4 so those two are highlighted. And you'll see one, two, three, okay. And now you'll see that I've got B1, B2, and B3. So quick tool does as advertised a quick way to make changes, especially if we just have one or two of those that have done and we've got, you know, 50 sheets and it's the 25th sheet. There's no easy way to do that. Very quick way to make that adjustment and make everything sort of fall into line. 